This is an opportunity for the Chester Fritz Library and the Art Department and the community to collaborate on a wonderful exhibit. The idea is to uh, celebrate the 200th anniversary of the Norwegian Constitution uh, and at the same time uh, make reference to the inspiration it drew from the American Constitution. This exhibition is uh, a good example of contemporary art in Norway. Uh, what's exciting for the UND community is it gives you an opportunity to see uh, work from another country, uh, European work that usually doesn't get exhibited uh, it locally. So I think it's a wonderful opportunity for the students in my program in art and design uh, because it diversifies their normal experience with art viewing. The artwork behind me is by one of the most famous contemporary Norwegian artists, Inger Sitter, who actually just passed away a few weeks ago. And the artwork is called In Motion. All of the artwork throughout this show was meant to represent the artist's feelings about the Norwegian constitution of 1814. And this particular work is a contemporary reflection of the idea that Norway is still moving on. On one level, it's just the Norwegian flag, but it also has a lot of movement within the image. And speaking with the curator of the show, Trond Olsen, he really found this to be a resonant work that expresses the contemporary feeling in Norway about moving into the future, but looking back to the past as a source of their culture. So the work behind me now is also by Ingrid Sitter, and it's called Water. Very different from the previous work, but expresses some of the same ideas. Sitter was actually famous for being among the first Norwegian artists to adopt the abstract expressionist style. So this work is not representational, but still uses the colors of the Norwegian flag as a way of showing Norwegian identity in this work. The 50 works that have been installed on this floor have absolutely transformed the space. It's become an inspiring, beautiful, meaningful place. It makes it into um, not only a place where students can come and sit and study, but it also makes it into a community cultural center. Uh, in a way that I haven't seen it transformed before.